All right, Shalom, giving all praise, glory, and honors unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And uh, the news is on fire right now with this Ukraine crisis. And pretty much, as you can see here, APnews.com. It says Russia invades Ukraine on many fronts in brutal act of war. So now we're at the time of wars taking place and World War Three kicking off. All right. Um, these are the beginning stages of the War of Armageddon. And it's coming to a point to where uh, the West... The Western powers, the U.S., NATO, um, they're going to have to act, okay? All right, Israel. These countries are going to have to act uh, because Russia is basically saying, look, the Ukraine, you know, is ours. You know, I believe it was a part of the old Soviet Union. And this is all a part of the Heavenly Father putting that spirit on the Medes putting it on Gog and Magog to do what they have to do, okay? Matter of fact, let's get a scripture. Uh, let's go to, see if it pops back up. All right. So let's see if I can tap back on the blue letter. Okay, so let's see if I can go to this here. All right, so let's go to Ezekiel 38, because this is pretty much what is happening. All right, here. We're seeing the Ezekiel 38 chapter start to play out. This is Ezekiel 38. Start at the top. It says, In the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against God, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal and prophesy against him. And this is going into Russia. It says, And say, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shah, behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. And this is Monday, Russia, okay? And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth in all thine army, horses and horsemen. So this is the heavenly father putting the spirit on the Russian army to build themselves up. And he used to understand the course of what they're doing. Okay. It says, and on thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them cloaked with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So this is what we're seeing. We're seeing the mass of the Russian army invade, you know, the hundreds of thousands of troops invade Ukraine, strike Ukraine, to get it away from the hands of U.S. and NATO, okay? And you're going to have other countries get involved over time. It says Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Persia is now uh, uh, Iran. Verse 6, Gomer, which is Turkey, and all his bands, the house of Togoma of the north quarters, and all his bands, and many people with thee. Be thou prepared. And prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are sibling unto thee, and be thou guard unto them. And Russia is a major guard to these countries, like such as BRICS, which is a coalition of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Okay? Um, so the time is coming when these countries uh, are going to get together with Russia to fight against the West. So let me get into some of this article. It says, this is from Kiev, Ukraine. It says, Russia launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine on Thursday, unleashing airstrikes on cities and military bases and sending in troops and tanks from three sides in an attack that could rewrite the post-Cold War security order. And that's what's going on. The Lord is putting it in these countries, spirits, these leaders, to do this. It says Ukraine's government pleaded for help as civilians piled into trains and cars to flee. Mm -hmm. 
It says, Vladimir Putin, President Vladimir Putin ignored global condemnation and cascading new sanctions as he unleashed the largest ground war in Europe since World War II. So this is the time that we're living in. We're in the time of World War II. Uh, uh, um, not World War II, World War III taking place. It says, and chillingly referred to his country's nuclear arsenal. He threatened any country trying to interfere with the consequences you have never seen. And this is how World War II started, when Poland was invaded. So now you have Ukraine being invaded, because Esau is, is using the same tactics and the same tricks. Okay? All right? Old horse, old dog, same tricks, you know? So soon we're going to start seeing masses of troops from NATO and the U.S. head over to that region of the world, okay? Um, because Ukraine is a part of NATO, I believe. Um, so, you know, they're going to have to step in there. It says Ukrainian officials said their forces were battling Russians on a multiple of fronts, but had suffered dozens of deaths and also had lost control of the decommissioned Chernobyl nuclear power plant, scene of the world's worst nuclear disaster. Right. So we're, 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 you know, you know, this is, is, um, is where we're at, man. 2022, the year of the Lord turning things up, man. U.S. President Joe Biden announced new sanctions against Russia, saying Putin chose this war. And that his country would bear the consequences of his action. Other nations also announced sanctions or said they would shortly. So this is what we're dealing with, man. This is what we're seeing in the world, and this is what's trending. Okay? Russia invades Ukraine, and it's only going to escalate. Okay? So let me get another scripture. Um, and I'm ending up, you know, I'm not going to take too long. I just want to bring this news out. Um... Let's go to Revelation, the 14th chapter, because there will be a, a third world war, and it's in the scriptures. This is Revelation chapter 14, and uh, let's see here, Revelation 14, let's see here, if I'm correct, I'm sorry, it might be 11 and 14, let's see, 11. Let's go to verse 14. Yep. This is 11, uh, Revelation 11 and verse 14. It says, the second woe is past. All right. So, we have, matter of fact, it's like, let me go, let me get, what's that, Revelation the ninth chapter? Revelation 9, and then I'm going to go. Revelation 9 and 12. It says, one woe is past. Okay. Um, if I can't get it. Matter of fact, it might be eight. It's a lot here because I want to get these scriptures. Okay. Here we go. Revelation 8 and 13. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Which means what? War, war, war. Woe, destruction, that's three woes Because there's three world wars That were prophesied in the Bible to happen Okay It says, woe, woe, woe To the inhabitants of the earth By reason of the other voices Of the trumpet of the three angels Which are yet to sound Okay And we've had and now Re uh, Revelation chapter 9 with the Apostle Har he's, he's going into uh, Revelation chapter 9 is dealing with World War One, okay. So now let's go to verse twelve, Revelation nine and twelve. It says, "One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter." And so after World War One ended um, in nineteen seventeen, we went to the twenties and then to the thirties. We had World War Two start, okay. So now we can go to Revelation. Like I said, Revelation 11 and 14. It says the second war was passed. World War II took place in, was in 1939 and ended in 1945. That's when you had the League of Nations turn into 
uh, uh, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or you had the United Nations. Also, you had um, the State of Israel get established. Uh, America became the world superpower. Things changed. So now it says the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. So we're, we're in that time of the third woe is, you know, is here, especially... Well, we're 30 years after the uh, so-called Cold War. So now we're after the fall of the Soviet Union. So now we're, we're into um, this, this, this uh, um, new spirit that Russia has to get that, th that coalition back together along with other countries. OK, so this is heavy, man. You know, this news is really heavy. Russia invading Ukraine. On many fronts and brutal act of war, and we're going to see how quick things escalate. You know, escalate. So with that, all praises go to Yahweh, Bashmi Shai, Bashmi Kakudash, double honors to the apostles of the Great Millstone. I pray that this is edifying. Um, continue to stay prayed up and 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 be in the right spirit. So next time I say Shalom.